Hey, you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. My name is Anne, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage, made possible with support from Nicolay Bank and from U.S. Venture. Additional support comes from Dodd Home Safety. Dodd Home Safety performs home safety assessment, provides and installs the recommended equipment, and trains everyone on how to keep loved ones safe and independent in their own homes. More information at DodHomeSafety.com. Joined in studio today by Mile of Music artist Reese Fulmer and the Carriage House Band. Welcome. Thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, it's glad, I'm glad to be here. Is, this is your first Mile of Music? First Mile of Music. Well, welcome. Yeah. I hope Appleton and the festival is treating you well so far. Oh, it's blowing me away. So you guys are from the Saratoga Springs area of Correct. New York? Yep. And... Um, we usually have quite a large contingent from that area for the festival. Is that to have something to do with uh, how you found your way here? Yeah, I, I think that um, there have been a few bands, like uh, Wild Adriatic in particular, um, that have been on the radar of Mile of Music for a while, and, and so they sort of have their eye on that area. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, welcome. Um Talk a little bit about your sound. I've seen, I've watched your videos, I've listened to some of your uh, music, and it seems like you have a couple of different lineups. You yes. know, I've seen one with uh, with horns and keyboard and one that's more pure string band. So mm -hmm. uh, talk about all of that. Okay, yeah. Well, it's, there's a lot there. Um, I do, I have a, I have a fluid lineup. Um, so the Carriage House Band is really a rotating sort of collective approach to, to a band. Yeah. Um, and uh, there are a, a few different um, few different sounds that I that I get from it. And uh, to me, it's really such a freeing thing, you know, especially for my writing where I know I can take it to I can take it anywhere and they'll be able to handle it and there will be something that will fit um so uh yeah there, I wish I could have everybody out here but that would be like 12 people on stage so well, usually it's like five or six people keeps it interesting for sure it does I think yeah. for everybody for me and for the players and you are um I guess the closest genre would be folk yeah um Sort of indie folk Americana. We uh, so there's a Capital Region um, Awards uh, called the Eddies, the Thomas Edison Capital Region Music Awards, and we won Americana Artist of the Year. I saw that. Which Congratulations. is so they that that's a category we can fit into. Um, I think that it sort of varies based on the lineup. Um, we we can have an Americana sound, which I think is what you'll get today a folky americana yeah. sound um and uh yeah so i i think we're, we're all sort of comfortable not quite fitting into one of them you know really it's how music should be right it's how people like to listen agreed you have um your latest album is is a live album talk That's about a live that album yeah well i think it i think uh what we were just talking about is a great segue to talk about the live album because it's it draws on four different shows with four different lineups and there's 17 tracks on it and i saw that i'm like wow 17 tracks and then yeah. i noticed that they were from several different um venues so correct yeah. yeah so the four different capital region venues um that were nice enough to to supply the multi-track files to me i mixed the whole thing myself um, and it and it's really it's it's such a cool snapshot of about six months with the band, um, and it's a full range of what we can sound like overall, um, which I, I I thought I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, lots of fun. So yeah. it, um, I'm looking forward to seeing you live at the festival. Thank you. You are here all four days of the festival, and um, festival goers can find out exactly where and when to see you by using the Mile of Music app or grabbing a printed guidebook, which is available downtown. Um, you know, another thing we really love around here um, is good stage banter. And um, it seems like you you do a good job of teeing up your, your songs and uh, I, giving I a little background. Best. Yeah, well, it's, so I learned, how, I learned how to play in a listening room. And I think that that comes through pretty much whenever we play a full set because I really care about how how the songs are received and I try to make sure I set the stage for that. How has Appleton been treating you so far? It's so great. I mean, it's I started the day today with a massage 
and you know <laughs> you, how can you get better than that you... you know i don't know that everyone knows this about the mile of music um i think there are some assumptions because it's free to attend that you know, we must be getting some killer deal on, um, you know, paying the musicians or whatnot, but the musicians get paid. Mm -hmm. The musicians are offered um, housing at uh, the hotel, the Hilton downtown. And then there are all these other um, services available to, you know, make you really feel that Wisconsin uh, hospitality, which one of them is massage. You can get uh, free dental. You can get um, custom ear pieces. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I think there's dermatological checks and I don't know, chiropractors and you name it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, you touched on the, the housing and uh, there's an artist lounge in that, in the, in the performance, in the main center where there's lunch and dinner provided for the artists too. And, and for someone like me, um, who's just kind of starting to get my feet under me with touring, um, having that be a part of this weekend makes it possible, you know, like it, that's, that's what makes it a, an option for me to bring my band out here because it's a long way. You yeah. Know? It's a long well, way. Fantastic. We're happy to have you here. And, um, you know, Appleton is a small market and we don't get to see a lot of musicians coming through. So when they do, we love you a little harder, you know, make you feel a little more welcome. So we feel it. We appreciate you being here. They are Reese Fulmer and the Carriage House Band. Would you play something for us? Give our audience a sample? Yeah. So this is a tune um, that is available in in two ways now. Um, it's available on that live album that we talked about, and it's uh, available as one of our studio releases from this winter. And uh, it's a cool collaboration on on the studio release with a band that some folks around here might know um, called The End of America. Um, so Katie, their cello player, um, has collaborated with me with me played with me with me live quite a bit, um, and all of the TEOA boys are on the studio track for San Francisco with me um, doing what they do and uh, yeah so this is the live acoustic trio version of San Francisco
A stone on a mound That breathes in a sunrise With all those ghosts in the ground But it's nothing to find Big as those eyes It takes all the time in the world And gives it to somebody else It swings like a necklace of pearls It drops like a coin in the world Oh, the sky Big as those eyes Takes all the time in the 